we want to focus on here is heating and forming. We found that for this siren sheet to produce the best results, uh, we had a heating uh, time of about seven and a half seconds and then a forming uh, and release time uh, total of about 20 seconds. So we're going to want to return to this uh, main page. Uh, once you have all these set and all those settings are on, you're going to want to exit. Next on the main menu, you're going to want to click this yellow auto button here. Um, here it's going to have all your settings that you set up displayed on there. And the main things that you're going to want to check here are make sure that your oven is on and your platen is on as well. Once you have this and you're ready, you can come over and cut your styrene sheet because it needs to be uh, you know, adjusted to fit under the clamps and on the, on the aluminum surfaces. So once you've got your styrene sheet cut to shape so that it fits in the mold properly, and all your settings here uh, are set, temperatures and timers, you're going to want to set your styrene sheet into the mold uh, and evenly distribute it. Generally the best thing you're going to want is so that it just fits perfectly um, and you don't really have to like make it fit so that it falls through. Um, so once that's set uh, and all your stuff is set up on the machine, all you got to do is uh, you're going to first press both start uh, buttons simultaneously to clamp it down. You're going to see all of those clamped down. Uh, make sure that's secure in there. And then after that, you're going to hold the start button simultaneously one more time for uh, three seconds to send it into the oven. And then you're pretty much good to go. It's going to sit in there the time that you set for it to uh, sit in the oven and heat up. And then it's going to come out on its own here. So bring the mold surface up and pressure it uh, to shape your part. Here in particular, we have a uh, ice cube tray, which is common to be made in the 216 lab for this procedure. And uh, it'll release from the mold after a set time. We have it approximately 20 seconds. The clamps will open up. Take your styrene sheet out. And there we got a beautifully pressed ice cube tray. You'll then go back out with your pliers and cut that out and then you've got your finished part. Run that as many times as you need. Finally, once all of your parts have been made to your desired amount and uh, you don't need to make any more, you're basically going to go back to the main menu here on the main screen and then you're going to come over to the left side of the machine and just like you started to power on the machine, you're going to want to just push it in a little bit and turn it to the left. That'll turn all the settings of the machine off, the display will be off and the oven will slowly cool down and uh, you'll be good to go.